Climate change is also a threat. Rising sea temperature is destroying the ocean's natural habitats. The coral reefs, giant nurseries where juvenile fish grow, are dying. Seychelles has lost more than 90% of its coral reef since 1998. Coastal development in recent years has also caused great loss to the coastal habitat, destroying important nursery grounds such as mangroves, seagrass or coral reefs. These factors have had an undesirable effect on the fish stock. Our new generation of local fishermen has lost the sense of ownership of their resources and in the meantime lost hope. It is evident that fishing methods from the past retain many sustainable practices that are still relevant and can be applied for today. More than ever, traditional fishing practices that promote its sustainability need to be kept alive. And today I would say you can show with all the most sophisticated lures um, between my hand and hand, the stock is not there anymore, it's just uh, gone. A complete turnabout in our ways of fishing is required if we want Seychelles to continue to prosper and remain relevant on the fishing market. Fish stocks need to be rebuilt while fishermen need to maintain their livelihood. The country is now refocusing its development around a sustainable blue economy and is implementing several private and public projects linked to more sustainable fisheries management. In January 2022, the government of Seychelles introduced a series of new fisheries management measures to rebuild and maintain healthy fish stocks. For many years, some fishermen have been very conscious of these sustainable practices and they would release certain species if they were juveniles or too small. But lots of awareness programs are still required to educate not just the fishermen, but the general public. On Branle, the fishermen themselves decided in 2019 to take the future of their declining fish stock into their hands, a first in Seychelles. So we were witnessing all the catch from the fish traps that were coming in. And we noticed that, uh, especially the cordonnier, the rabbit fish, were getting smaller and smaller. So we said, what are we going to do about it? Are we just going to sit there? Or are we going to ask SFA to, to, to take some action? And, you know, as we went on, we decided, why not ourselves, the fishermen, decide to do something? So one day I invited everybody here and we sat down, we discussed what exactly we wanted to do. Together they decided to close Besentan on Palais to trap fishing during the northwest season when the weather is calm for a period of six months. The temporary closure preserves fish stocks in the bay and allows fish to grow and multiply which will result in higher catches during the southeast season when the area is to be reopened for fishing. Studies conducted after the second year of closure showed that the project was a success. A rise in the weight of the total fish caught in fish traps as well as the average size of the fish caught were noted. The study showed that after the voluntary closure the average weight of fish traps was over 7 kilograms compared to 1.8 kilograms before the project was implemented. It was also noted that the average size of fish caught in the bay after the second closure was up to 21 centimeters compared to 14.5 centimeters. This project is an example that should be replicated throughout the country. I'm hoping that in the future we will be able to carry on closing and opening during the two seasons and helping the fishermen. People need to learn that this resource is not infinite. We have to preserve and let it reproduce for the next generation. A Seshelwa NGO, Green Island Foundation, GIF, is working on a project that involved directly the local artisanal fishermen to identify fish species that are in decline. This project was interesting for us on many fronts. First, it was the fishermen themselves that identified the species um, that they wanted us to monitor. Secondly, the fishermen themselves came up with voluntary measures that they were willing to adopt um, to make um, artisanal fishery more sustainable. So when I'm talking um, about measures, I'm talking about size limit on certain species. 
and we hope that in phases of the My Plateau Demersa plan, these measures will be adopted on a national scale.